I love uh, MMA, and uh, one of the biggest fights just happened with uh, uh, Nate Diaz, and, and I can't remember the other fighter, but... And the other guy won, right? Well, the other guy won because of doctor stoppage. Because of what? A doctor's stoppage. The doctor, like, Nate got cut, re- a good cut, it was a serious cut over his right eye, and the doctor stopped the fight because he believed that there was... It was going to hinder him too much in the fight. Did you think Nate was going to win? No. Oh, well, you, you know what? I, I think never. I was like a new fighter, right? Newer fighter. Yeah. Newer Nate's fighter. been Nate's been around for forever. But Nate is he's he's just one of the fan favorited fighters, man. He's just because he's so freaking fun to watch. Because he goes in always. Always ready to fight. I am really shocked that you like MMA. Love MMA. I have not. I have, that was the first time. Dude, I was. I was hearing about. I this. was a wrestler in high school, and I did uh, some jujitsu stuff. Um, and in fact, in, in high school, we would actually during during uh, uh, during practice, if if they were done actually having us do practice, we would do uh, sparring matches in in Brazilian jujitsu. Now what? For those who don't know, who are un- or who are unfamiliar, I know partially. What is MMA? You are allowed to do all types of fighting. Yes. So basically, anything goes in the ring. Just about anything goes, except uh, for you know biting. Biting, <laughs> pulling of hair, uh, no who, groin who, shots. Who pulls hair? In oh, dude, that's a legitimate thing. If you're if you're fighting, like you can pulling hair is a. Uh, I guess that would hurt. Dude, if they got long hair, here's a crazy thing that I learned. Um, it's exceedingly hard if someone has literally like your whole freaking mop of hair mm-hmm. in their grip and they're pulling on it mm-hmm. as hard as they can. It's hard to do anything yourself unless you have unless you're able to get their hand and control their own hand. But they can essentially move your head however they want at that point. How many How many minutes are the fights? Uh, five minute rounds. Uh, rounds? generally there's three rounds unless, unless it's a title fight. If it's a title fight, there's five, five minute rounds, but you don't have to fight all five, right? If you know, if you, if you manage to, if you manage to, so there's, there's three ways that a fight, well, te- okay. Technically one, two, three, four, technically four ways that a fight can stop. Uh, the one way that you really don't want a fight to end is through a doctor's stoppage, which is what happened with Nate Diaz recently, which was a bummer because it was such a good fight. Uh, then there is a submission, which is either one of many different things. There is a uh, heel uh, lock, leg lock, uh, in Amaplata, you have a... Uh, a Kimura, you have so like a t- arm so bar. A tap out? Yes. Okay. Uh, then you have TKO, where the ref stops the fight because the other person seems unable to defend themselves anymore. And then you have an actual KO, which is where you have just laid out the other person and they're unconscious. And does is that one like the Ted nine eight? No, there's no countdown in in MMA. Oh, no like, countdown. If so, but who, if you're if you're knocked out, who determines? You are out. I mean, I guess everybody. The ref sees determines. It. The ref determines if you've been KO. KO. Yeah. Interesting. I never. There have been some terrible calls by some refs, but it, most of the time, there's always at least one ref that I want in a fight. Pretty much every time, that's Big John McCarthy, and he's been in it since the beginning. But he just he he's also the guy that essentially came up with the rules for all of MMA. The only reason I know anything about MMA is only one that gets talked about on the Joe Rogan <laughs> podcast because he's an announcer. Well, he's also an incredible fighter too. That too. He, he's a, someone you don't want to mess with. No, I saw this video. <laughs> like ever, there was this podcast where they were talking about like. The guy was talking about, oh, I, I watched this video of you kicking, and it's, like, ridiculous. And I'm like, what do you mean? Who, who's scared of... <laughs> they're like, he's just kicking a bag. It's scary. <laughs> All right? Like, I was like, I was like, how bad could it really be? I, Dude? <laughs> 
It's like the bag doesn't move, but the bag moves. You know what I mean? Like, the bag almost stays still, but the force of his kick, like, just set, like, the thing just... And then, like, comes back together. <laughs> like, I just feel like all of it my... It folds. It folds. Yeah, I okay. just feel all of my ribs would just puncture to the other side. And that would be it. That kick looks ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Whoo! See, and this is why... That's why I don't fight. Because <laughs> no thanks. You don't know what people are capable of. Heck no. You have no idea. And look... And look, oh, and it, I've got and I've gotten my ass beaten in stand-up fights. Like, you, you see, Joe I'm Rogan. okay. I I I'm scrappy. Like I could probably, you know, if someone is as trained as me, I can I can certainly hold my own. And in grappling, I'm pretty. I'm I'm decent in grappling, which is the ground game. Ground that's, that's, that's okay. The, yeah. Okay. We've gotten way off topic. Yeah, no, I'm I'm cool with it. <laughs> I've never been interested in MMA until this very moment for some reason. But I'm like, oh, I listen to it on Joe Rogan. I could talk about this. Oh, MMA. I mean, this uh, is all I got. What I, well, what I love, my biggest reasoning for loving MMA is that it is, at least for men, and now becoming for women, but it is just, it's the, like the pinnacle of competition. It, it it is as it is as. I I have heard fight science is ridiculous. Like the amount that like, it's not only just like training your body and understanding how to fight, but it's also like being able to understand like how to read somebody, how to read, to, how to just destroy the human body in certain ways. Yeah. I, they had Bas Rutten on uh, on one of their on one of the fight science uh, episodes. I remember, and they wanted to look at one of his palm strikes to uh, the uh, to the spleen. Well, that's right. So they had they had a whole upper torso with you know ribs and organs and everything like that inside of you know ballistics gel and everything like that. So it was a whole upper torso. And they had Boss Rudin do one of his open palm strikes to the spleen. And he essentially burst the spleen. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it is ridiculous. Who's that, uh, what was that magician? Oh, David Blaine? David Blaine. When he took a punch from Kimbo Slice? Yeah, Kimbo Slice is a good, he's a good, he's a good puncher. He's got serious power. But like... He's an okay fighter. Kimbo's, a, Kimbo's an okay fighter. He kicked the shit out of me for yeah sure. oh yeah but i mean like i just like like that let like i saw that too and i was like mm, no i'm good well kimbo's got like these incredibly long arms yeah it's it's kind of a trip and to look at him cannons <laughs> yeah no kimbo, kimbo has serious serious strength and now i know we're just gonna start i'm just gonna start combining a bunch of stuff but <laughs> Now, uh, every time I watch, and I've never seen a fight, ever. But like, you've now, never actually watched an MMA. I've fight? never watched it. Like I've whole oh, before you know, I leave today, we're doing one. I've never. I don't think I've ever. Like I've seen clips. Like I've seen a few like KOs every now and again, like via the Joe Rogan podcast, or maybe I'll go and like watch something real quick. But I've never seen like a full fight, cause like, and and a lot like to my point earlier about like understanding like. It wasn't really until I started listening to people talk about MMA and understanding, because like sometimes you watch a match and you're like, they're well, not, they're not, not, doing, they're not anything. doing anything. Exactly. I'm like, those are those are very disappointing fights. Yeah, but there's also there's also like, but now like I'm getting it more. Like it's not all about like somebody says go and you just start wailing at the other guy. Mm. That's. There's That's, a lot. There's a lot of gauging. There's a lot of head games. There's a lot, a lot of strategy of that a goes lot into of strategy. and like so now. Sometimes like, it gets thrown out the window. <laughs> yeah, but I think that insight is helping me understand. Like, okay, like I think now that if I w tried watching it, I'd be a little bit more engaged. Before it was like. Let's get to the part where he where kicks just... him in the face. Like let's, you know what I mean. Like, and no offense to MMA, but sometimes, and I and I think you know that's another problem with a lot of you know uh, movies that are coming out. And I have a question if I don't lose it. 